Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair. Is plastic packaging back? And if so, at what cost? I am your host, Mr. Modern Toy Fair, and I am joined by the founder of the Nekulumanati, the delayer of shipments, the procrastinator of pre-orders, my YouTube wife, Mrs. Modern Toy Fair, Jamar underscore games. But that's not all. I'm also joined by a man who Modern Toy Fair has full custody over. The man up to his prime pop, but he refuses to stop. The Twilight Knight, the master of Mac, the three pump chump of taking this show off the rails, Nate. Top. Hello. How's Hello. it going, guys? I am excellent. We're just gonna talk I over am... each other the whole episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. Just keep how are you, Jamar? How, no, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, how about yourself, Nate? I am doing well. I am freshly uh napped. Oh okay. feeling good. Yeah, yeah. So I took a nap. Nap wasn't the word I was thinking after you said you are freshly. There's a lot of different things, you know, freshly it's, out of the shower, fresh freshly, poop. right? Yeah, right. like freshly napped. Uh, okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say freshly shaven, but you know, that's clearly not it. No, or is it? <laughs> I guess no. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna throw a Patreon plug there, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that they could shave him? I'm confused. <laughs> No, it's uh under uh, an under the table joke. Okay, ah, it just keeps writing itself. Yeah, someone out uh, there is getting it. Yeah, I hope they are. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so this week we're gonna be discussing the new wave of Spider-Man figures from Marvel Legends that they kind of announced a couple weeks ago, but we've been talking about other things, so we finally are getting around to it. These figures actually like got full solicitations and have the retro card backs, which is very strange because four out of the six figures are not retro carded at all. They are very much so on this like weird, like it's still got the purplish blue, but it's got like a bright blue web and a different style of the Spider-Man font um, from more from the, like the current day comics rather than the 90s show. And, um, it's, it's very strange that they, they went this direction. It almost feels like, you know, a little backpedaling. Like they, they said, oh, the retro card stuff will stay with the plastic bubbles on it, but everything else is going plastic free, blah, blah, blah. So this feels almost like a workaround for them to kind of re rebuild that relationship with the customers that they lost because they went plastic free. But instead of just, going all the way back they're like nah we, we we can't we can't be wrong so we have to go and make them all retro carded now so we're within our own rules um so do you guys feel like this might be like a almost like a test to see if this will work like if people will suddenly start buying at the levels they were previously uh i guess i i don't i don't know if it's a test or if it is just kind of like let's just throw some stuff out there and see like i i guess a company would probably be more responsible than that but i, I just feel like it's like hey let's see i guess that is technically probably a test actually so i take that back <laughs> yeah they are testing <laughs> they're they are they are testing this but um i again i think that it may have something to do with the fact that they're spider-man figures right or not all of them are no they all no, are no electra is technically not spider-man Okay, that's fair. I think so she, I, which is weird because that's the thing is every other figure in this wave is like Spider Man centric, except yeah. for Electra. Well, I guess Electra Daredevil because it's Electra as Daredevil. Um, I mean, same city. Same yeah, city. I mean, yeah, it's still New York, and they probably yeah. interacted. <laughs> to be fair, there was a Daredevil figure in a retro carded spider-man wave this is true but okay. wasn't that because that was his costume in didn't he show up in the animated series or something wasn't there some sort of explanation uh, for it there probably was um i'm just saying it's this not is, it's not yeah it's not unheard unheard of. Yeah. Of, yeah yeah so i guess that gets character. to like my, my my point then of like maybe this is just something that they're gonna kind of dabble with with specifically spider-man 
centric or adjacent like things because that is obviously doing well with the spider-man line i'm assuming because you're buying it michael so you would have more insight in that i mean i'm only buying like the retro card like at legit retro carded stuff not yeah yeah not this like hodgepodge how can we get in like inbox collectors back how can we get people to quit being mad at us for getting away with the windows like it like this this is like the figures I remember some of the figures are cool like um now i can't remember his name and of course i took the picture down already but the uh the one that's like gray and green and purple i can't remember it's like specter or something like that or i don't know i think it's supposed to be i think it's the new the i think it's the newest version of ben riley oh yeah uh chasm 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 mm, specter same okay. thing um <laughs> a word like that it's, it's some sort of spooky it. word yeah 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 uh, okay yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah see yeah, i was yeah, on yeah. track i just was in the <laughs> wrong alphabet um but yeah like i think he looks fucking cool as hell i have no need for him and him being on a modern version of a retro card doesn't really do it for me enough to be like i want that on my wall so it this isn't like directed at me like sure but like before they were doing the retro cards they started doing the retro cards and it was wasn't maybe necessarily directed towards you but it was something that interests you and was like oh i think i'm gonna get into this line and then you kind of went into it even though i feel like you had to go back and pick things because you um no i actually didn't go cover? backwards at all yet all right well that's a lot uh, okay. i did and i didn't so i did go back and get mysterio but then he got damaged during the move and I just haven't rebought him yet. Uh, but beyond that, all of the other ones behind me, except for I guess the X Men, I did have to go back for Rogue and Gambit and Storm. But Spider Man wise, all those are, are releases that yeah. came out after Venom, which was my first there one. There you go. That means like they got you into a role or into a role into a line that you you're into. So maybe they're just kind of hoping that they can catch some other people the same way. But I know we kind of like want to steers towards a bigger discussion overall yeah but if they're, they're trying to catch if they're really trying to you know steer this towards me then maybe instead of giving us the goddamn rose on a stupid retro card we should have got the figure that should have been on a retro card and gotten doc ock instead of him being packaged with an old woman this is like bringing up nfts again okay <laughs> it is Stop isn't it, it? <laughs> now i see how it feels now i see how it feels <laughs> I'm just saying, I feel I very very slighted by this wave, so it's definitely if, so. If even if I was into it, I wouldn't buy it out of spite. That sounds about right. Um, how do you are are you slighted, Nate? <laughs> um, so it's funny that this all came about because I actually I picked up on this really really like as as soon as these were shown, I was like, hmm, mm -hmm. that's weird. Um, and I even posted something about it. I, I forget where Facebook or, you know, Instagram or some wretched hive of scum and villainy and people came after me, dude. They came after me. They were ringing the shame bell, um, because I dare say anything about plastic free packaging and how it's not fucking stellar or something. It was very I'm, whoa, weird. Wait, what? Right. Right. What? right I, so i i got it i got to was, experience was, the <laughs> the has bros uh oh, okay like I, I didn't know that that actually existed and was a thing that they would defend tooth and nail you know anything that hasbro did like i've been devil's advocate or somewhat like even in their corner on certain things but like not everything and i i felt like i was like oh my gosh because like i made a comment about how oh well plastic free packaging isn't selling so we're gonna try this and something like that and then this guy just came at me about how just because it's not selling in my state doesn't represent the entire united states i'm just like yeah i understand it's that being jackass. reported everywhere that they're getting right out. Like, I, i'm sorry listen, what listen. you're you're in fucking hawaii where you have one walmart for the entire yeah. state so like oh, they sell what? instantly <laughs> Why does Hawaii have to take these shots? Because I assume that they don't have a lot of stores there, okay? <laughs> we're, yeah, we're just assuming. But anyway, I'm going to go past that point. Um, do I think this is a 
conscious effort line wide or like company wide, no. But I do think this is at least the Marvel Legends teams kind of pushing their um, pushing their boundaries a little bit on this because I think they are definitely seeing some uh, decreased sales over the last few months. So the the last few Disney Plus waves didn't do well. Uh, the last uh, wave that I don't even remember what it was now. It was a really weird X Men wave. I think it had the retro card uh, wave. Oh. No, 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 no. So about Just the one the regular. With, um... Oh, the uh, where you built uh, the tank guy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was the, the that one... one of Maggot and Havoc yeah. and all of them. Yeah. yeah. That didn't do very well. Yeah, um, that was still that was still in plastic packaging, but still. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that was and, the last. We're seeing... I think that was supposed to be the last. I think so. And, yeah. Um. So, you know, they're seeing a little bit of issue there. I know they're seeing issues across um, Star Wars as far as Black Series. Now, honestly, I don't think I've seen a single closed box G.I. Joe classified in stores yet. Um, everything that has come out over the last few months has been in plastic because it's mostly been exclusives. Mm-hmm. It's been kind of weird. The only thing um, I've seen is uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Right, and that's not a, a wide retail. That's more yeah. of a fan channel. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I think that's interesting as well. Like they the, really oh, the, the, the deluxes. Um, yeah. Okay. The deluxes. Yes. The the yes. motorcycles and the three packs and stuff are yep. plastic free. Yep. Which, you know, I I could get. You know, uh, I don't want to get like. <laughs> I feel like I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> like I'm just, I would be okay with those staying like that. To be mm-hmm. honest those bigger, large size items like that. It doesn't have to be window box or whatever, but definitely I think that they're like, Hey, you know, our Spider-Man figures are our strongest sellers are, mm-hmm. you know, retro Spider-Man figures even outperform everything else. You know, why don't we, you know, put this modern wave, test the waters on this modern wave uh, and put it out there. And, let's not do a build a figure because you know fuck them that's why and we'll still charge the 27.99 or whatever for it and i think somebody in marketing was like hell yes like all of those things check all of these boxes mm-hmm. so and this is just pure conjecture but yeah. um how long until at least co- straight comic book themed waves or spider-man x-men avengers themed waves all then become retro carded waves Mm -hmm. because this is not like each year they tend to do like a celebratory um line subline yeah for what anniversary line yeah yeah and they just did spider-man last year so they are definitely not doing spider-man again this year it should be the x-men there could be Ghost Rider, but it also should be X Men because this is X Men's uh, 60th anniversary or something like that. So you'd wow. think that that would be um, the case. Um, yes, because it was Spider Man. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think that they are going to do this more and more often. And um, it'll be interesting to see how it, how it continues, if it continues and how well this line, this, this particular wave does, because um, it does seem like most, most, not all, but if my memory serves correctly, Spider-Man waves tend to sell better than most. And the last major modern wave I remember was like the red goblin wave. And I remember that one doing pretty well as well. I mean, of course there was always stragglers. There's always stragglers, even in like venom waves and things like that. Um, but you know, those are the figures that tend to just within like a year or two tend to start appreciating on the secondary market. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause even like the most recent one, the only one, well then again, the only ones that didn't sell well out of the last like plastic free packaging waves of Spider-Man stuff was like future foundation, Spidey. Right. Um, and I think, wasn't there another modern one in there that didn't do well? Cause I know the Japanese Spider-Man did really well. Yeah. And, and the Scarlet Spider did really well. Yeah. I can't remember what else um, there was, but I feel like there was another one in there. I feel like there was two. Um, I think. Did they do another well, big I know time? The, the green and black? I don't, not in that wave. Okay. No, that is that was a couple years ago. They did the Renew Your Vows set, which did really, really well. That did crazy well. That was it, because of the new because Spider-Man. It, 
Right, right. Then you know you see a lot of those Mary Jane figures, you know, loose for sale, um, and then also the the Tom Holland um, Spider Man Ned Leeds figure that was part of that series did as well. Did not do as well. No, it didn't. That one showed up, um, you know, on clearance and things like that. The, but uh, Amazon that also, sold it for twenty bucks at one point. Yeah, like but that also isn't Spider Man. You know, yeah. like it is it, it's Spider Man related, but it's, but but it's, it's not, not like Spider-Man. yeah, it's not it getting a brand teenagers. new Spider Man with a whole yeah. new articulation. Yeah, that was a tough sell anyway. I mean, two teenage action figures that I mean, it, it, it did about as well as it was gonna do. Yeah, yeah. You had two I audiences think. there: the people who are completionists for the movies and people who wanted characters to be in the background of their photos. <laughs> but yes, exactly. Because <laughs> I, I have seen that a lot. Yeah, um, but. I, I kind of wonder what's next for for Star Wars because we're just now getting into where th- I'm starting to see the uh, Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary figures, Black Series figures on shelves. So those are, again, plastic packaged figures. Although I think some of those are going to uh, hit like a like a like a stone in a water. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Some of these are not they're going to do well. well. Uh, yeah, they're going to drown. Know, Fall Micro flat. are going to do well because it's Army Builder. A Wicket's going to do well because it's the first time it's ever been released. But I feel like the Lando was like literally just out in a, a, a archive wave. That same figure was just in an archive wave Is not it six Return months ago. Of the Jedi, like beginning of the movie, Lando. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I think so I it was just it. out in an archive wave, and even when the archive wave was out, you could still get it in the original box on Amazon for you know, twenty one ninety nine. So like it it hadn't really hit like I need this yet. Poor Billy so, Williams, man. I know, I know. The good I thing know. is a lot of kids will know who he is because yeah. he's always on the shelf at Target. <laughs> he's an evergreen character. He is. <laughs> His likeness must be like dirt cheap. He must just be like, listen, give me like a subway gift card and a well, an HJ fair, out back and you can do whatever you want. Hi Jet, where is he? Oh I don't have him with me. Dang it. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, wait. No, here he is. He's over here. He's over here. <laughs> this, the joke there. isn't going to land quite as well. You have to go find him. I know. I know. We're just I assuming that the people uh, watched, last watched the live or yeah. was it the episode? The yeah. live Star last week. Wars, you don't have to pay for likeness rights. It's all it's all factored in. Everything. It's all oh, in the Oh, they're in the contracts? Oh. Okay. Yeah, except for one character. Uh, Do the, you know Well, two characters. Yeah, uh, Tonica sisters from the Cantina. There's a whole weird what? <laughs> like, yes, there are two. There's two women in the Cantina in the original Star Wars. They have black hair and they have like a green outfit and green lipstick on. They're blink if you miss them. There's a whole urban legend about what happened there. I don't even know what at this point is true and what's not true. If they didn't sign off, like every single other person ever. Uh, in the history of Star Wars, or what? But they're, they've never been allowed to make those figures. Interesting. Yeah. So that's it. That's the only ones. And I guess there's been movement on that in the last few years, where they could. But we barely get any figures in vintage collection as it is. Let alone if we're going to get two green lipstick ladies from uh, the original Star Wars. So I say that, but I feel like there's multiple waves of, of vintage stuff each year. Random do. Yeah. Yeah, multiple a year, but the the new newly tooled figures out of those are almost nil it is all i mean what are these women something. like wearing that like could they not reuse something else not in the vintage collection not like for females because like they've only done like three and wow well, i wasn't I sure mean, maybe they no, could, like i wasn't sure if they, if they were like more of an issue if they were wearing like <laughs> i mean that is a big issue um but if they were wearing like bikini tops with that you could just repurpose a slave no, leia right like, or something no no they, they can't even release that again so um, that's just because they're afraid to be sexy on the shelves yeah yeah but i i you know they, they're not going to give us those figures i know that like, we haven't even gotten in the vintage collection we don't even have luke skywalker from the original movie proper we don't have han solo proper we don't have obi-wan kenobi proper um we don't have any rebels characters we only have two figures from the book of boba fett um, I mean, some of that makes sense, like the Book of Boba Fett stuff and the Rebel stuff. Like that's that's new enough that that's you know that can last them forever. But Luke, Rebels? Han, and I mean Rebels within the past ten years 
It's not that old. Ten years. Okay, but like, think about Ten it. Years. We're talking about fucking how many of those characters on your wall are from thirty years ago? A lot. You exactly. Know how many I have from the Mandalorian. Almost as many. Well, that's just because they are gonna fucking Oof. milk that shit. To, like, they're gonna give you so well, many know, different versions of Mando. They can give me. You get. You get the give me more than two figures from the book of boba fett and give me anyone from rebels i mean with mando though you get normal mando you get shiny mando you get mud wrestling mando you get bukkake mando right. like they're gonna give you and everything. that's pirate mando yeah different no <laughs> daddy daycare mando <laughs> yeah i got oh. two carded grogu's okay that's because have one came Luke with his Skywalker. carriage and one didn't <laughs> anyway um you know what they should have done they should have fi- paid extra at the likeness rates to those girls and included them with. Uh, oh no, that, the Rancor was. Uh, fuck, that was Black Series. Never mind. Or, I, I yeah. was like, anyway, my whatever the failed point, Star Wars one was. <laughs> uh, my original point was being that you know those figures are being brought back into plastic packaging as well. Whew. And the, but Got those to. are still going to be on like a retro around. card Got too, to. right? I did. Yeah. 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 Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was trying to figure out. I was like, wait, those are on the anniversary like retro card packaging too. So yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting. I'm honestly kind of shocked that they didn't from the get go put Indiana Jones on a retro oh, card. Oh my god. Dumb. You know? Ugh. That would make sense. I would have to buy Thank two you. of every indie. Yeah. So yeah. this I guess kinda I don't know if you're going this direction, but like Yeah, segue. Is this not no. even a segue. I just want to know, like, is this a negative thing? Like, shouldn't this be, like, well, almost praised? But I almost feel like we just have, like, here at the show, we are the licensed uh, fuck Hasbro uh, content creators, because I guess that's what we do. But well, um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know that by the comments. <laughs> but I just feel like <laughs> this should be, like, an exciting thing. Because I remember talking about plastic free pra- packaging before. And like, yeah, oh, that was our that was our, our, oh, oh, oh. our big episode. That was yeah, the one that blew the fuck up. Now they're kind of going back, and I kind of get the vibe that it's like, oh well, why are they doing this now? They're just trying to. I mean, people are gonna be negative figures. no well, matter yeah. what. Yeah, Isn't like that it's that the the internet, that's how it works. But I, right. before we answer your question, I think that's a perfect segue into the caveat to this wave that Nate already brought up, and that is okay, the, yeah, yeah, that yeah, it suddenly cool. doesn't have a build a figure. Which could that be just the rules of the land with the ha- with like their licenses or whatever it is they're doing there, where retro card figures don't get build a figure pieces. Build a figure has to be a part of the the main line, which has to come in that that angled box bullshit. Um, so if they go to a more retro card, are they just going to eliminate build a figures altogether? I, don't, I so I can't predict this. But I want to ask you the question, would that be a terrible thing? Yes. Like for both of you guys, would that be a terrible thing? 100%. Like it, it, here, here's here's my alternate reality. There is no build a figure in the lines. You get these cool retro carded figures, whether you think they're figures you want or not. But then instead of doing a build a figure, you get like just HasLab exclusive figures or something to go like paired Deluxe with figures. it. Deluxe figure, sure. We'll we'll say it so that. Assuming way. you're talking and about to like, be that. able to get a bigger character, you're another avenue. Right, right. So in like cutting down costs on the the figures, which I know this is the hot button because we're like, are they really cutting down the cost? Mm-hmm. But now you just you just buy the deluxe figure of what you want, and the, and the reason why I kind of feel like I'm in the camp of, I think this is a not a terrible thing, is because the only build a figure wave I've ever had to do was Captain America wings, the Sam Wilson <laughs> version, and like. To me, that was frustrating to buy things that I really didn't give a shit about. Like, I know the Build-A-Figure is probably supposed to be like, oh, I'm going to complete this line and I get a bonus figure, you know, out of it. But for me, it was more like, fuck, I have to buy all of these figures to get this. So, like, if that was an option, and that would sound, this is a bad analogy because that means that, like, his wings would have been like a deluxe figure. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, wrong. Buy that later. wave all around shit the bed because <laughs> that, of that. Like, yeah. that was... That was but I feel fighting. like you get best of both. Like, what if you can't find one of the figures in this wave? 
oh, it's cool. I don't have to stress out about it because I really didn't want this character. I'll just buy the deluxe figure that was supposed to be with this wave. Or you know what I mean? Like you you kind of are adjusting the cost in a little bit. So so I get where you're coming from. Um I'm gonna address the last thing you said first. As far as like stressing out about finding them, if you are someone who like you 100 percent want all six figures to build the battle figure or whatever, almost every e-retailer sells the, these waves complete if you want to at the at retail like it's and sometimes even less because you're buying all of them they'll give you like a discount so like you have avenues that you can get them all and not have to go through the stress of hunting unless you choose to hunt that was again just coming from like my experience with yes i remember the, 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 the where the Scarlet, you just literally couldn't the Scarlet find Witch them who, who then completely like a few months later flooded shelves after she was super hard to get yeah um, but yeah, neither here there. But yeah, sure. So, sure, so sure. The, the, purpose, good to point out. the purpose of the build a figure is is two things. One, to get those bigger characters, even mm-hmm. though now they do have the deluxe figures, which kind of fill that gap anyway. But two, also to help move some characters that they want to put in the line that might not sell as well. Because yeah, they've got that handful of people who are like, oh my god, I've been waiting for that character, or I need that character because X Y Z. But you'll have those people who just want the build a figure, and now they're buying that character, helping that move even more. Um, so the build a figure is kind of, kind of an important par- part of the the way that they do things. Mostly, it, it the way I look at it to help get characters that might not sell as well out there. Because if you get rid of that, then maybe they start cutting back on some of the deep cuts or some of the side characters in the MCU who might not be as popular, but then some of the MCU completionists really want. So it's kind of a slippery slope of if you get rid of the build a figure, what's next? Go ahead. So everything you just said, I agree with. Oh my God. I did not okay. expect that. <laughs> Except. Okay. So like, Everything you said about how the build a figure works, what it's for, what it's intended for, absolutely, 100%, you are correct. But... They have been looking for a way to take out the build a figure for years, and they've gotten there. Because the one thing you got to think about, all right, how much more is this additional figure costing? You look at most build a figures, they don't share a ton of tooling. Some do. You know, some will you reuse stuff, but a lot of times they're, they're, they're unique sculpts. And yes, that gets spread throughout the wave so it absorbs that cost but what if they didn't have to do that at all we've been very spoiled okay so the build a figure existed because toy biz put it in the original marvel legends as it was Mm -hmm. okay more than 20 years ago now i mean a long ass time so it's always kind of been marvel legends build a figure hand in hand okay Mm -hmm. as you've noticed any um other six inch line that that went along with that and had some success, whatever have, have basically phased them out. Okay. Um, uh, like looking at, um, I mean, Mattel did it for a long time, but they don't do anything like that anymore. Yeah, they in do. the lines that they do. They have a wrestling, in which lines? a wrestling line uh, once a year, they'll do it once a year. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not a regular right, thing, right. but like they do it. Usually it usually okay. it's the WrestleMania one, like, like one wave a year. Yeah. Okay. Um, they, but they don't really do it across anything else. They don't do it with He-Man. They don't mm. do it with other wrestling. Um, they don't do it with Jurassic Park. They, although at one point they they tried. Oh, something yeah, they like tried that. with the Jurassic. What was it? It was a. Uh, oh, it was something real stupid too. Like it wasn't even like a yeah. dinosaur. It was it was like build a character oh. or something. Yeah, I build don't even remember G. now. Uh, <laughs> no, that was that's McFarlane is in his little Tinker Toy Batmobile. He tried to yeah. build the first time before he pivoted to a yeah. regular figure. Yeah, and and even his have been sparse. You know, some waves will have one, some some waves. Well, he's a specific not. line just for the build of right. figures. That's right. more expensive. Star Wars has never had it. Mm-hmm. Um, GI Joe doesn't have it. Ghostbusters did it in its first wave, but never did it again. Um, so, Marvel Legends is the only line left that does it. And so, yes, Indeed. you're absolutely right. That okay, oh. okay. <laughs> There's a build an artifact. It's still a build for that figure. first wave. Every figure after that that has been announced doesn't have any part. Well, haven't wave. Those aren't wave two. Those are individuals. Still, 
technicality. That line needs that line needs all the help it can get, I, and I'm a fan. <laughs> but that that line is DOA. Yeah. Um. Mark my words. Um. But this is a way for them to then because look at specifically look at the Guardians of the Galaxy movie wave. So this is going to be in box packaging. But what is the build a figure? Cosmo. Mm-hmm. Cosmo should have came just in rockets pack. It should have well, been rockets. I agree. Cosmo. Yeah. And the Groot figure should have been the build a figure. But we're getting that as a deluxe figure. Cause... So just like what you're yeah. Um so they were able to then cut down costs and pretend to still give you a build a figure even though that probably got costed out cost is that right? Costed coasted cost. coast. It got coast out it got um, as a builder figure i don't think that's the, um, the those are the same words across yeah. any spectrum i don't think they are <laughs> i don't think they are but i'm i've decided that they are so they coast them out and uh again i i think we've been spoiled too long and this goes back to a cory holiday uh you know tin hat theory years ago on the old figuratively speaking podcast that i used to be a part of and oh. and i thought no way but then shortly after that, there was then these all these special releases, so retro carded. And then they started with the anniversary waves. None of those had any type of build a figure or piece or anything in there included with that. And there has been all these little things throughout the different years, special, you know, fan channel releases and deluxe sets that they don't include build a figure parts on. And the prices are either higher or right on par with a regular build a figure included figure too yeah. so i think the build a figure as we know its days are numbered and that is then ultimately going to be the trade-off because you're going to get these 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 more of these bizarre retro carded figures because again these are ultra modern representations of these characters on retro cards it's all very which odd so we we keep saying they're retro cards because okay. it, because because right. it is like we associate it with the like 80s 90s early 2000s but realistically like it could be a situation where they're taking it back and trying to just be like no that's how figures should be because there have been other lines out there that still did the well, bubble packaging that that breaks their rules it does that's why mm. i'm saying like the, the, I get why, like, they probably have to call it a retro card, so that way it stays within the parameters. Yeah. But, like, realistically, it, it, does, it doesn't It does have to be considered retro, per se. Right. Right. Do, do they call it a retro card? I don't think they... Like, they I'm looking I don't at think them. they acknowledged it. I don't think they do. I think yeah. the only technically retro is the retro collection, Star Wars and Indiana Jones, those reproductions of the Kenner figures. I think those are the only things that are technically called retro. Um, yeah, a, I'm I looking thought, at the well, website thought, thought on at least this the, way that we're talking about. They refer to oh, maybe the, they those do. as retro. I thought, here, let me pull I up Big Bad. I thought they didn't. I was no, I'm to... saying they don't call this current wave retro. Right, but yeah. they're on... They're on retro, retro cards style. because that's what we refer to them as, but like there's other lines that have still continually done like the right, bubble but cards. Hasbro, so is saying Hasbro they're just has only it. doing right yeah so like they have i'm saying i don't think they even referred to this line as no probably as not retro. yeah because if you go big bad toy store marvel retro but don't so do that it's... nobody cares i mean i care um yeah because like right here up top uh marvel legends x-men retro collection marvel legends apocalypse so like those figures are called retro collection um but yeah, I don't. Oh, shit, I should have left that up because let me see about these new figures because now I'm curious about. Fuck, what was his name? Chasm? Yeah. I'm going to assume it's spelled Chasm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's just oh. called Amazing Spider Man Marvel Legends Chasm. So they don't refer to it as a Not at retro all. wave, they don't acknowledge it. Right. So and I just realized I was talking to myself on mute, but yes, <laughs> <laughs> they, do, they do not. Um, that's why I was saying I have like the website up. It they don't say it at all so mm-hmm. i guess it's just semantics that we're yeah i mean it's semantics but it's also semantics are important because they may have internal roles they may also they also are trying to do as like pr wise they have to be careful because they've because the last thing any company ever wants to do is admit defeat to the customer so like That's fair backpedaling plus let's be honest we discussed this 
what, a year ago at this point when we did the plastic free packaging episode that they're probably getting a kickback from the government for like the going green initiative. So they also don't want to, you know, accidentally step on anything there to screw themselves out of their tax rebates that they're getting. So yeah, that's messy, but yeah, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just in the, the vein of like, they're, they're, it's weird that they're not referring to it as retro. Like they're not acknowledging it, but at the same time, are they going to, are they just going to pretend like it didn't happen? And and just, if it succeeds, that's just what we're going to get now. It just, it it raises a lot of questions of what's going on here because they, (laughs) (laughs) they didn't really communicate anything. They showed the figures and right. then they solicited them, or and suddenly they're like on these cards, and we're all like, "Wait a second, that's weird." Yeah, I guess it's kind of funny that they didn't even like make a big deal about it. Because if I was marketing or whatnot, I would build this as like "we heard you" kind of thing. Uh, but you see, know. corporate wouldn't like that. No, I understand, but like, I I just feel like that's like a. Hey, we we're trying to give you something for the collectors, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So since we're you know we're getting close to close to the sunset here, let's uh last question: Are you for or against this change if it becomes a more permanent thing? Ooh. And by that so. I mean figures coming on that retro style carding, mm-hmm. but no build build a figure. Build a figure goes away. They only do deluxe releases for larger characters, and also I'm, I'm going to answer real quick just because I forgot to make a point and I want to get it out while I'm still thinking of it. <laughs> do it because I am for this because I like Jamar. I am also frustrated by the build a figure at this point, and that's not because I can't get it all, but it's because I don't want to buy comic book figures if I'm building an MCU build a figure and vice versa. Okay. So that's fair for me. I I would rather just buy the deluxe figure for forty dollars because as of right now, if I want to build the the stature or um you know whatever Cassie Lang for the oh, Ant Man, yeah. um, oh, I oh, already yeah. have to spend a hundred dollars on figures I don't want. Okay, so to pay forty or fifty dollars for the build a figure, I'd rather just do that. Might I add so this suggestion, Nate? Yes. Listen to last week's episode about why the I don't know if this was last week or not, but the secondary market isn't the secondary market's evil. next week. We switched right. the schedule. Uh, around. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the time. I don't yeah, so know. Watch next week's episode about the secondary market <laughs> oh, to understand. So they don't. So they don't even know about HJ. I thought point. HJ no, was they, HJ was no, at was the live stream. stream. No, it wasn't. No, HJ is in the secondary. Well, that's where it uh, started. That's HJ true. That's true. Himself was in the live stream. In, yes. Yeah. Yes, this, but yeah, we, the so continuity they, is insane. Yeah, the continuity yeah. is it, we're we're like a, a '90s cartoon at this point. Yeah, <laughs> the, the like episodes air really, like really suddenly. Image. Professor X, Professor X can walk again. It doesn't make any sense. Or uh, an image book that only comes out like three times a year, like <laughs> an early image book. Uh, so, uh, so, so yeah, for it. yeah, I'm for, I'm for it, it uh, for a little bit different reason. To be honest with you. Just because I am almost a hundred percent open box collector, <laughs> even though everything is in boxes behind me, but uh, my intention is to open everything. So, like personally, I'm for this idea because. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I meant to say against, but not an against of like I don't want this. I just feel like it's it's wasteful for me to get this packaging that I'm gonna open and throw away anyway. So oh, like, okay. So the yeah. one thing, the one thing that people are excited for about this, getting the plastic window back, that's what yeah, you're against. <laughs> go back to the plastic fee- free discussion. I am not against it at all. There's He's some not. weird things to work out with as far as like theft and things like that. QC. But all, yeah, and QC. But overall, it's a great thing for me because I can just throw everything away, not feel any kind of guilt as far as like packaging and all that I mean, good stuff. Because I just want to guilt because you threw it away instead of recycling it. You fucking well, you monster. know what I mean. Threw it out of my house, so I just I get it. But I, I I'm happy though that people would get this and you know be like awesome. If you want the plastic free packaging, or if you don't want the plastic free packaging, I would say support this line. 
and maybe that'll be a sign to come. But also for me, it feels slightly wasteful because I'm going to get the Miles Morales. I'm going to open it up and then I just cut this, you know, kind of cool looking retro. But I mean, I guess that's what we did when we were kids anyway. So, you know, who cares? That's, that's also why the earth is fucked. Yes. The way yes. That it is now. So. <laughs> Go millennial. All those uh, batteries I wasted and threw in a landfill from my Sega game gear. Um, <laughs> so I, God, I'm somewhere in between. Cause part of me is for it because it seems that any character that's not modern is going to be on like legit retro packaging, which gets me excited. But part of me is against it on principle because of the fact that, like, if you're going to take out the Build-A-Figure and get still give us even less accessories, like, fuck you. Like, these Spider-Man figures used to come with two pairs of hands. They you are get smart. the wall-crawling hands and two flipping hands. And now you get one of each. Like, what? Yeah. That I don't feel like so much has to do with, like, the... I guess not the Build-A-Figure part is what you're referring to. But, like, I do feel like they could probably work that out a little bit better. Like, but but the, the, I don't think they are is the problem. I think they're just like saving money. And like, if you're going to get rid of the build a figure that costs so much extra money, all these hands are fucking reuse. It's not like they're molded in webs or anything where you have to redo it every time. They just paint them a different color. Like, yeah. it's just, it's, it's just real shitty. But especially when like I got fucking beast back here who has a lab coat and two different heads and two different <laughs> hands and a, and beakers and shit but spider-man can't even have two sets of the same hands that we've had for the past five years like i don't know it just seems real shitty so i'm i'm for it because i want retro card stuff <laughs> but i'm against it because fuck you hasbro that's that's fucking shady as the shit to to be like we're so, gonna give you even less for your money now and we're not gonna cut down prices either but again i i do want to make a point on this is the cut down prices because i think you may have mentioned this before or just in general i don't think any of these moves are to reduce costs to the consumer but like make it to where they don't have to raise no the they don't it's much it's them yeah. it's right. them backpedaling like, to try to get sales to go back up it's that's that's yeah. all it is but, but the, the, the exclusion like, yeah. of the build a figure like nate said is a cost-cutting measure sure 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 but not for lower cost figures yeah. but yeah all, that's all a, i'm, gonna, just I'm, gonna, I'm gonna before we close it all i'm gonna say as bro is if you're gonna do this maybe make the plastic bubble a little bit smaller so it doesn't look so fucking empty because <laughs> if you look at these figures there's a lot that's of empty good. air in there it's it's real sad looking um but i'll allow that that's okay yeah (laughs) just saying uh but on that note (laughs) let us know in the comments below where you stand on this are you excited to finally get your plastic back on your packaging do you like the new modern looking retro cards which is a weird sentence to say uh or are you still (laughs) like fuck hasbro they're the devil the hell charger was overpriced yay Todd mcfarland's our god uh let us know in the comments below (laughs) Uh, if you made it through this entire episode and you enjoyed it please make sure to like and subscribe helps us out here in the channel lets us know that we're doing a good job and also gets you into toilet content in your feed uh generally we have reviews let's poses live streams and then the podcast uh if you are a fan of the channel and would like to help support us in this crazy journey patreon.com forward slash modern toy fair we have a bunch of different tiers you choose from you can get anything from being able to suggest the fake podcast nate chooses every week uh all the way up to getting physical prints of the photos i take or even being a guest on our weekly live stream and if you'd like to head over to metal.tv forward slash jamar games you can check out jamar and all of his wonderful little clips of the stupid shit we do when we play video games and nate what do you got for us this week uh well i do have a new podcast it's called smell my figure and uh so what it is is that you just we open up new figures and we just take in that new glue and paint smell so yeah paint my face or uh, smell my figure was that a you or a a patreon that one's me because i couldn't i couldn't read anymore that was Oh, pretty wow. good i'm just saying Thank he you. just that was set that was the good. bar yeah. high again like yeah. you gotta come correct when you do these submissions because yeah. 
That one True. is good because it's a good play. It's we did only play. get one new one. Um, I'll make sure to send it to you for next week because it, it, it correlates to the live stream from the week before. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so I'll Thursday, remember. We'll, we'll, when we do next week's show, we'll put that on before we do the, these other two. And so none of it will make sense. I'm, I mean, already I'm already confused, confused. Uh, yes, yeah. i'm so confused I don't all right know well on is. that note hopefully see you next week same toy time same toy fair channel thank you for watching <laughs> i don't know where i'm at <laughs>